In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the store and recall function in the Texas BA2 financial calculator to speed up the calculation of the no arbitrage free value using the backward induction valuation methodology. Uh, if you would like to see how okay, the numbers are calculated for each of these not, then you can refer to my previous video. We can click on the link above. With the computer-based exam, it would be tedious to write down your workings on the board. Okay, so in some cases, the space given is not big enough for you to do your workings. So using the store and recall function can make the computation more efficient. So to start off uh, from the time tree, okay, from the last cash flow here, we have $100 par plus the coupon of $8 here. So I'll start from the top. So what I'll do is I'll press 108 and then I will divide by 1.1. Okay, so that gives me 98.1818. Now, I'm going to store this in a systematic way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press store 9. Okay, so I purposely follow uh, the shape of the tree. Okay, and I try to mimic it on the calculator. Then next, I'll press 108. Okay, divide by 1.08, the second knot here. So I will get 100. Then I will store this as 6. Okay, and then the last knot, uh, I'll take 108, divide by 1.06. Okay, and that's 101.88679. I'll store that as number 3. So I've uh, stored it in 9, 6, and 3 here. Okay, and then now I'm going to discount it back to time 1. So what we need here is uh, using the recall function. Okay, I can just type recall 9 plus recall 6, add it up and then divide by 2 or you can multiply by 0 0.5 okay so I'll divide by 2 and then I'll add the coupon here $8 okay and then I will discount it back to time 1 using 7% so divide by 1.07 I'll get 100.08496 I'll store this as number 8 now I'll continue to the lower knot so I'll press recall 6 plus recall 3 okay that's equals to this amount divide by 2 plus the coupon $8, then I will divide by 1.05, okay, and that's 103.7556, I'll store that as number 5 just in case, okay, so now you can, of course, you can you can directly add it back to uh, recall 8, but if I do it from scratch, this will be recall 8 plus recall 5, okay, and then you divide by 2 plus 8, okay, and then you divide it by 1.04, and that gives us the answer of 105.6926. Okay, so of course, uh, the numbers here are just to show you what are the values in each knot. But in the exam, okay, if you have such a question, then uh, if you can start from the final cash flow, you can store it immediately in the calculator in a systematic way as what I have done. Okay, so I follow the shape of the tree here from 9, 6, and 3. Okay, and then up to 8 and 5. Okay, and then you will get up and then you can discount it back to time equals to zero.